Hello and welcome to a Chris Page tutorial. Now, on the last video I posted yesterday, I was asked how can I export files from Cubase to Pro Tools for mixing. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can actually export all these tracks at once and then import them into Pro Tools ready for mixing. Now, the only thing I've done was this. This is from our session yesterday. All I've done is um, set the levels for all my tracks. So we've got kicks and air toms, overheads, room mics. And that's all I've done. I've done no other processing like gates, EQ, compression, not even limiting. It's all just the levels and panning. Now you don't necessarily have to do panning or levels. You can just put them at zero gain and export them out and import back into Pro Tools like that. But I like to start off with my levels already set so I can just focus on getting the musical side of everything done. But I can always um, add some more gain later on if I need to in Pro Tools. So the first thing you want to do is select all your tracks and hit P. Now this will set this cycle range to the end of the longest track. Say we had um, these three over here and these three over here. If you select them all, it's going to select the longest track there is. So P is great for just quickly putting a cycle range the entire track. And now we're going to go to File, Export and Audio Mixdown. Now, one thing you want to take note of is this tick box here. You want to select Channel Batch Export. Now, what this will do is it will export each one of these tracks separately into their own file format, whatever you choose. And it will just export them separately into their own files so you can import separate files again. This is rather than soloing each track and exporting the stereo out every single time. So we're going to choose the prefix. Now, what this will do is it will give you a prefix of every file. So if we stick with export, it will be export 01, the type of track it is, audio, instrument, MIDI, whatever, and then the track name. So we're going to go stick with export. Now I've chosen my path already. I'm from processing Pro Tools export. My format is going to be WAV files, sample rates 44.1, 24-bit bit depth, and then we can't really select mono export, which is a shame. I think if we pan them off center, we would be able to. Now you don't want to import them back into the project, but we can select close dialog after export. So I'm going to hit export and I'll be back with you when it's finished and I will be in Pro Tools. So see you in a sec. So now we're back in do Pro Tools. Now we're going to go to new session choose our location, Pro Tools Mix. Now I'm going to name this Session Import. Hit Save. I'm just going to adjust the size of my window here. Because it's too big for this. Uh, there we go. Do, do, do. Right, so now we're going to now we've got this, we're going to go to File, Import, Audio. Now, you can find all your audio files. I've already found them here. I'm going to select them all. Hit Convert Files and then hit Done. And use Current Folder. Now it's going to process them. I'll be back when it's finished. So, they finished um, processing. So now we're going to be greeted with the audio import options. So we're going to select new track and then session start and hit OK. And it will import all the tracks. Now at first they're all offline. So we've got to wait for Pro Tools to analyze them and bring them online for us. And as you would notice, they are all in the order they were in Cubase, which is really handy. And they've all got the really long name as well. But you can rename that when you want. So it's easier to find them. Because in the mixer as well, they're all a bit scrunched up. So you can't really read them well. Okay.
So now they're all online, and I'll just play a bit. Turn the clock off. Oops. So as you can hear, they're the same level that they were in Cubase. Now what this will allow me to do is mix accordingly to the Cubase levels as well. And as you'll notice if I play, the overheads and the room mics are already panned left, right and centre. So thanks for the question and the suggestion for the video and Merry Christmas and I will see you in the next video at the end of January. So thanks for watching. Goodbye.